So we're shopping for all the ingredients that we're gonna need, getting all the fresh ingredients, of course. We're gonna give you the realistic price of how much it's gonna cost to make this. Let's get the fresh uh, avocados, first choice price, and the cilantro straight from the vine. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it big. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. So a whole bunch of shopping later, we ended up getting all the ingredients, some extra stuff, of course. So we're gonna look at the thing and then see what the total is for just this meal and how many servings is gonna be versus the actual price for Chipotle. We are back at the crib. Whole bunch of the groceries. I'm gonna separate them out for you guys. And then we're gonna get right, right into the video. You can see this is the breakdown of all the ingredients. The ones that are blue checked is the ones that are, uh, come to a thing and we did the total. So let me put it down. All right, with the map and the ingredients we use, it came to about 26.51. You can see ones for the ingredients that we use right here. We got, got the uh, beautiful cilantro, just a little bit of these spices. So obviously you don't charge the whole thing because you're only gonna use a little tiny bit. Uh, some limes, tomatoes, onions, a little bit of red pepper. This is for the guac, so some avocados, taco mix, black beans, jalapeno, salt pepper. Second, different, different phase right here. Chicken legs, avocado, tortillas, and we got the hot sauce optional and ginger of course we prepped all the ingredients we're ready to start the process first things first chop up your chicken legs small as possible kind of like small pieces like that and you want to get your onion get that thing nice and chopped up You gotta dice it up nice and mixed or diced. That's a good size right there. You got that ginger, chop it up. So you wanna mix the black beans, onions, salt, pepper, and a little bit of the ginger. Just a little tiny bit. You gotta add a bit of water though. I forgot about that. I said just for the people watching. So while you got the bean mixture boiling, you want to get a little salt and pepper. Season the chicken accordingly. Let, let it marinate into in the salt pepper mix. All right, after your beans come to a boil, let them keep, keep cooking for a little bit. So the bowl of beans is just there baking and it'll continually get warmer. So you don't have to worry about them. And then move on to the next step, which is Pico de Gallo. Let's get it started. Add some of your chopped onions and your tomato should be already chopped. And you should have something like this. Now you need some greenery in there. The cilantro to the Pico de Gallo. And she couldn't wait, so we're making the rice as well. Obviously had a little cilantro in there. And look at this, got the Chipotle look now, you know, with the, with the green in the rice. That's how they do it, they actually just add cilantro to it cilantro rice and they put a little bit of butter and they put a little bit of salt pepper in it um, so it's pretty pretty much on standard right there you're gonna go back to the pico then you want to chop up your uh, jalapenos even more than this you know have them nice and flush with the rest of the texture of that now that we got it like that you just want to blend it all together everybody's favorite ingredient we're gonna get a little bit of lime and you just gonna spritz that right up on there to get it nice and wet oh yeah get that thing in there put two we're gonna put two of course because why not you know little lime never hurt nobody oh yeah see i'm gonna get that bling on look at it it's already looking like classic pico at this point Probably needs a little bit more cilantro, you know, a lot. Need a little more greenery up in that bad boy. But I'm gonna do a little mix, see if we're working with. This is how it looks when it's nice and stirred up. 
Looks pretty restaurant quality, restaurant standard. And we're ready to go for the next step. We're chopping up the red pepper into a bowl. I'm just wondering why no one have come under my nails yet. So we've transferred the rice into this bowl right here. This is all our prep chicken. But before we do that, we're gonna hit the guacamole. Let's get it. You playing? Yeah. So I'm chopping up these red peppers to very small things. You always want the smallest possible uh, size you can get for that. And I'm gonna chop up this potato, same exact way, you know, just kind of put it in quarters and then proceed to kind of just dice it to nice little things like that. I'm not even professional, just look like I'm doing good stuff. I'm not. So this is in there. So you just wanna scoop them in. Boom, so you got the tomatoes up in there. So you just wanna chop your avocado up in nice halves. And then once you get it like this opened up, then you just use a knife and hit the the wren inside of it. Scale right there, not a lot of people can do that. Take some uh, true talent right there, they say. <laughs> you can take out the pits right now too if you want. You know, if you if you want to show off or something, you know, you could just do that. Boom. I got it a little too deep in there. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? You put it even deeper. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> Okay, so you're just chopping up the uh, avocados as small as you, as small as you want. But obviously they're gonna turn into guacamole. So the more you do here, the less you gotta do when it's in the bowl. That lime juice that thing be hitting you. And the acidity. I'm just adding uh, cilantro leaves right now. Good that we got these here thing right here. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of these in there. You know. <laughs> we don't go with the ja jean jacket, baby. Well, maybe that's why I'm Biko Viral for me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Do it myself, baby. This no, I open it, baby. Okay. Mm. So you wanna add salt and pepper to the mix? As everything else. Oh, look at it. She like that. She like a little salt in there. And you put pepper in there. You want to put more pepper than salt, actually, because pepper brings out the zest in um, green things. People don't know that, but that's the secret. Uh, then you want to put a lot of lime in there. We're going to have a really basic uh, guacamole recipe. Just throw in the lime. C gets in there. Two good seeds get in there, don't worry, don't worry about it, you know what I mean? They eat it, good, good protein, <laughs> good vitamins in there. Couple up on the limes, that's why we got a whole bunch of them, just because it's the main uh, main thing right there. And then you want to put a little bit of chili powder, just a little tiny bit, not too much. And we'll overpower the flavor just enough for, I guess, slight color change. Uh, then you just mix this around. A little sprinkle of sugar on there and then put a little more of that here salt and it gets a nice glistening color and as you can see it starts to kind of eat away at it and it's perfect when you you know fork it around a little bit after mashing it for a good couple of minutes and adding the red peppers and stuff this is the consistency we get and if you keep mashing it it'll get to like even more pasty so Depends on what you, the consistency you're going for, but this is pretty good for right now. Okay, so we got the guac done. Okay, so now, last step, we're ready to cook the chicken. Got the chicken already prepped, got the spices and things like that. Putting it in the pan. This is our pan right now, so we'll work with us and we're gonna get it started. So you wanna coat the bottom just with a little bit of olive oil and turn it on medium to high heat. You want to dump in all the onions after that. We use basically the rest of uh, the onions from the recipe. And you can also put in the uh, ginger and the peppers. 
this step right here. You just want them to get cooked early, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of chicken in there, it doesn't really make a difference. Just throw all that, just throw, just throw all, launch all that in there. Bam. I'm not gonna lie, pico and a guac on point. So now we're just getting the last step going right here. Getting, getting these things to a nice sizzle. Nice little sizzle. These are, these are just a little extra things that and a little spice at the bottom of the pan. So yeah, you want to stare these around a little bit. Make sure they get nice and caramelized. I'd say add some salt, pepper, a little dash of sugar in that bad boy. Get it hot. So put a little bit of lime juice, add some cilantro just to get that Mexican spice. Now that they are nice and golden, you know, they're getting transparent, they're getting translucent on us. Now you can add more chicken. So let's put those in there. Put these chicken in there. So if you had a saucepan, then it would probably fill it out a lot better, but obviously in a pot, it's not going to do as well, but it's going to make it work. I'm going to add in some taco seasoning that we fed earlier. Just layer it on in there. Just, just layer it. It's gonna be the bulk of the spice right there. That's a, use half the bag on this thing. Keep the other half because you're gonna need it. You can add just a little bit of water. Add just a little bit of water. Don't don't do it like that though. You know you're gonna mess things up. And uh, once you put a little bit of that in there, it calms down. And it's feeling good now. All right, now that we straightened that up and got the water added, now you just kind of want to get it back on the heat. Keep Make sure all the ingredients are touching. And get it nice and homogenous. Few more spices, a little bit of uh, salt, pepper, and uh, parsley, oregano, a couple other things. You know, I mean, not big. Just get the nice smells going. And you see how nice and homogenous the chicken looks. That's what you're, that's what you're looking for right now. Just make sure they all are touching the bottom. They all get nice and cooked. Similar temperatures. And we in business. We got our nice uh, chicken, uh, like adobo, and boom, that's the last step. So we just make a burrito wrap out of this and see how we doing. This is the setup. We got the tortilla style sea salt chips, the chicken, of course, the black beans with the stuff in there, pico de gallo, guacamole, and the rice. We can assemble this. We're gonna get the tortilla ready so we can just make our nice burrito and 21.56 divided by how many servings? At least four servings. That's bringing you down to a total of about around five dollars per person. Way cheaper than Chipotle. And look at these fresh source ingredients right here. Okay, you're getting the fresh quality right now. My mom loves this guac right now. She and and Zars, they both like the guac. So these two are bangers, high key bangers. Let me get the fork. So I've got the tortilla. Put some of that chicken adobo in there. And then you just you want to layer some of them black beans. Oh yeah! Oh look at look at look at it! Like it's shining in the light right now. Oh baby! Oh baby! Then you want to hit him with a little bit of that rice. So this is the cilantro rice, cilantro in there. Boop! Nice and filling right here. Oh yeah! Rice is the ultimate filler for things. Put that on there. Oh yeah.
That's how you do it. That's how we do it, dog. First down. So we're getting ready to throw down. Look at how my burrito's looking. Oh, wait, you got the guac on there looking nice and crispy. Chipotle, they charge extra for that. You know, they're charging down to two dollars for that thing. We get it for the little, little price of free, see? So, we put a little sour cream on there, but this is when it looks the most aesthetic right now. You never got a bowl like this before, I promise you. Okay, baby, let me give, let me give my fork. It's, it's like multiple meals right here. You got the, um, the, uh, the nachos, and the accessories and you also got the burrito you don't both you got both right there that's what this is so big that it doesn't even fold the right way look at that I'll give you all the real life taste that's not i'm talking mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. She'd be coming off cam. She said, this is the best one. She said, the fresh one is the best one. 